I moved to America from Australia. I uh, saw snowboarding a lot, and I did snowboarding, and I became a professional snowboarder. I've done longboarding, and uh, rail sliding was the, just the obvious next choice in my career. My lawyer said I couldn't I couldn't ride for the rest of the season. Um, I lost a couple sponsors, but this this year 2K11, this is the season. There's new rails everywhere. It's sick. Every time you're out there sliding, railing with your friends, I mean, there's connections. I mean, sliding down rails is one thing, but just, just do it with your friends. Involved in rail sliding, you know, when I was a young kid, I just kind of got tired of walking down stairs and. You know, sliding my hand along the rail. To see how the sport has evolved over time and, and see that start in Australia and then coming back over to America with some of the people that did it, that really pioneered the sport. Uh, it's really amazing to see, I mean, just how it has evolved over time. It's exciting for someone who's involved in the industry to see, to see it progress and move on. Uh, that's one of the most exciting things for me. Well, I mean, you got steep ones, you got shallow ones, you got long ones, you got curved ones, you got flat ones. I mean, there's so many rails out there, but when it comes down to it, it's just all about, you know, riding the, whatever rail you got and doing it right. So, just, just make the most of what you got, man. That's all I can say. If you're an amateur out there trying to get into sports, just, just make the most of what you got. All right, the future of rail grinding, I, I think it has a really bright future. I mean, people are sliding down rails all over the place now, and it's definitely becoming a more recognized sport. What happened was I was going down one of those steep rails in San Francisco, and I actually ran into a car, um, and I totaled the car and broke my leg and my right ankle, so that was really rough. Yeah. It just kind of gets out of hand and you lose track of what rails you're riding, where you're riding, and, you know, you've just been chafing. And you, you know, you just got to call it a day at some point. You know, the more stairs, the more you got to ride. And, uh, you know, as the sport pushes and progresses, you guys are just taking it bigger and bigger. And, yeah, it's something you got to compete with. I mean, one of the worst things of all time is when you're riding down a real nice rail and you uh, it, you cheese grind it. And what cheese grinding is is when it gets uh, when the rail gets right between your cheeks and you have to ride it out and you're going so fast and you can't real stop. You can't come off because you're going to fall on your back, especially if you're doing a quarter cheek or a half cheek. Um, but you just have to ride it out and stick the landing. That's one of the worst things in the industry and the sport of rail grinding. Um, that's just that's for the love of the game. You have to keep doing it. You have to keep pushing through. And every day you learn how to not cheese grind and maybe the next day you aren't going to do it.